Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Melinda. So in today's video, oh sorry, I'm shaking the camera a lot. So in today's video, I'm going to be trying out the Overtone Conditioning Hair Dye or Hair Dye Conditioner. I'm not really sure. It's like a hair dye and a conditioner. I don't really know, but they were nice enough to send me 12 conditioners actually, which is crazy. I already did it on my hair, so that's why this clip is in black and white. So you guys can't see what the finished product looks like. Unless of course I put it in the thumbnail, then why do I do these things? I don't know, but yeah, so if you're interested in watching me dye my hair with the overtone conditioner, then just keep watching. Fair warning, I was having a really bad day when I filmed this clip. I'd been like crying all morning, so I'm a little more mellow than what you guys are probably used to, but maybe you'll enjoy that, so here we go. Hi guys, okay, so I'm gonna put a picture on the screen of what my hair looked like before, um, just so you can get an idea, cause this lighting isn't super accurate. I just wanna get my first impressions on camera, cause I'm excited to try this. So this is in espresso brown. Heck yeah, dude. I was hoping it would be super dark. Okay, it's like minty. Okay, I'm really excited to try this. I don't have gloves, so it's potentially gonna stain my hands. I'm just literally gonna wipe this onto my hair because I don't wanna waste any of it. Oh yeah, dude, that's so dark. Oh, that's amazing. The main thing I was worried about is that it um, would just be super light, but I'm trying to cover up light brown here, so it's obviously not what I want. I'm having kind of a poopy day. If I seem a little off, I am, but I really want to do my hair, so I figured I would just film. This literally looks like chocolate icing and it actually makes me want to eat it. So I think I just put this on dry hair. <laughs> I should probably read. Um, using gloves. Apply evenly to dry hair, wait 10 to 15 minutes, and rinse thoroughly with warm water. Use weekly to keep color fresh. Cool. Well, other than the gloves, I'm doing it right. Oh gosh. I always think dyeing my hair is gonna be such a quick and easy process until I actually get into it and then I'm like, oh yeah, I have a lot of hair, I forgot. This stuff is so thick too, it's insane. I'm used to like a bit more of a thinner consistency, so I'm curious to see how well this spreads. I wasn't gonna film today because I kind of just like am not in the mood to talk, honestly. Like I just kind of want to chill and do my hair, but I think first impressions are really cool and I normally have a lot of thoughts about products the first time I try them, so I wanted to get my first impressions on camera and just kind of talk to you guys about it in case you were considering trying overtone. Oh my gosh, let me show you guys this picture of how much stuff Overtone sent me. It was actually insane. So thank you, Overtone. <laughs> that was really freaking nice. I thought they'd send me maybe like four conditioners max. They sent me 12. So this literally looks like chocolate icing. It's making me want chocolate cake for real. I am scared this is gonna stain my hands, but I can't find my gloves. I don't feel like looking for them. So it kind of is what it is. And I'm not putting this on my roots because I don't really see a purpose in doing that. And also I'm probably not gonna put this on the under layer of my hair because the the top is really the part that fades the worst. Like the under layers really maintain their color pretty well and they're still like a dark, cool toned brown. So I don't really see the point in wasting product. This is literally the consistency of icing too. Like it's so thick. I wonder if you could dilute this with conditioner since it's supposed to be a conditioner or if that would make it not last as long in your hair. I'm not really sure. I can't get over how weird this consistency is because it's so thick. It smells really good though. I really hope that once this sits and actually dries that it will actually be as deep and dark brown as it looks right now. Because my hair is pretty dark, so this dye is gonna have to be pretty dark to actually make a difference. And I'm hoping that it is, because this is their darkest brown color. So, and I really want my hair to be nice and dark and just like even for the holidays and everything coming up. I'm getting lazier with my sections on the bottom just because like I said, um, a lot of the bottom hasn't faded as much, so I'm not too worried about needing to cover every single spot. Actually, I just kind of peeked into one of the spots and it did look pretty light, so maybe I will take my time a little bit. I'm definitely working through this container pretty, pretty good though. I'm making a pretty big dent in it, so we'll see how far this will last me. I didn't think to look at the ounces. I wonder if like one jar is typically enough or if I'm gonna need multiples. Okay, so I've done about half of my hair, honestly less than half because I skipped out on a lot of the pieces at the bottom and I've used that much. I don't know how much you can see, but I probably use like, mm, hard to tell, probably about half, maybe a little bit less than half. So I'm gonna go out and do the other side. I feel like in some lighting, 
my hair doesn't look like it's faded that much and in its other lighting it looks so much lighter but i just want really dark hair i honestly kind of want to go black again i don't know maybe i'll talk to tammy and see what she thinks and see if there are any non-permanent black options i love having black hair it's so pretty oh this is looking so promising i'm very excited oh, it seems like i'm not <laughs> Just in a chill mood today, you know? I cried this morning because I'm about to start my period. And when I'm about to start my period, I cry about everything. And then after I cry, like there are some people that feel better once they cry and they're like, oh my gosh, I just needed that like purging and now I'm good. Once I cry, I'm like sad for the whole day. And I feel like I could cry about everything. I wish crying was like a nice experience for me, but I hate it because it just bums me out. <sighs> so. What I'm hoping is that this color will kind of look black. I'm gonna be obsessed if it like looks black, but it's just a dark brown. That's exactly what I want. That's what the packaging looks like. So hopefully it gives me the same result as the color on the label because that color is like so perfect and beautiful. I, I know I keep saying this, but I cannot express enough how much this is making me want chocolate cake. Oh my gosh, what if it literally dyes my hair or dyes my hand that dark? This is so dumb to not wear gloves, but it's fine. This is like my first video. I'm not freaking yelling at you guys in. How do we feel? <laughs> I just snot about myself. That's cool. I feel like, I don't know. Sometimes I get annoyed editing my videos. Like I'm like, oh my gosh, can you stop yelling? You're so loud. And then I enjoy watching other people that are like a little bit more calm. But then there are some people that I watch that are really calm and they're boring. And I'm like, I know I probably annoy some people, but <laughs> sometimes I'm in the mood for people that are like really loud and hyper and high energy. And like, it's really fun and funny and entertaining. And then there's definitely other times where I'm like, um, I enjoy people that are a little bit quieter and more chill. And especially lately, just because I feel like there's a lot of very stressful things going on in the world. And so it's kind of nice to watch someone that is a little bit more calm and makes you feel more peaceful. Aspen Ovard, I just watched her for like the first time today. And then I watch um, Kristen, Kristen Johns a lot. She's really calm and like, she just makes me so happy. She's just such a positive person and I love watching her. What an angel. All right guys, well, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot I have like way less hair. So I bet I'll use less hair dye now. How many ounces is this? Oh, this is only eight fluid ounces. That's insane. And I still have a lot left actually. Dude, I use so much less now that I cut all of my hair off. I mean, not all of it obviously, but like ever since I got that haircut, I knew Tammy like really thinned my hair out a lot, but that's crazy to actually be able to compare it to how much hair dye I used to have to use. Like I think before I had to use like, I don't know, I would get the Arctic Fox was eight fluid ounces and I would use about two bottles, which would be 16. And this time I just used eight and had left and had a lot left over. This is insane. Whoa, my mind is blown. I probably have like a third of it left Dude, I'm gonna save so much money now, but I have less hair, wow, phenomenal. Okay, I am gonna go ahead and put this around my hands, dude. Oh my gosh, I semi-regret not wearing gloves. Okay, I'm going to try and wash my hands, wish me luck, and I'm gonna let this sit for 15 minutes. It said 10 or 15, I always go for the longer number, just because my hair loses color quickly because it's so porous, so. I want this to last, I'll let you know. Bye. How am I gonna pause this? I literally thought about licking this off my finger just so I could pause this video, but I'm not gonna do that. Try and use my nail. You guys, my hair is so dark. Okay, so as it was drying, it literally looked completely black and I was just like, uh, maybe it's gonna get lighter like as it dries. Cause you know, obviously your hair looks darker when it's wet. Um, My hair is pretty much black, which I'll be honest, I am not even mad about one because I'm sure it's going to fade so I'll have color for longer and I'll have more time before I have to touch it up again so I'm not mad but also I actually was just telling Brian the other day that I kind of wanted to dye my hair black so I'm like really not mad about this but it's definitely not what I was expecting also I am having an amazing hair day you guys I 
freaking used the new We Dad line again that I mentioned in my favorites video. And oh my gosh, I, I'm starting to really like some of those products. Like, I think I'm going to have to do an updated wavy hair routine for you guys because seriously look at this freaking definition and volume like it's crazy it looks so good isn't that freaking nuts but anyways so yeah this is my hair color um yeah oh um it did stain my hands i forgot to show you guys i got it pretty much off it's like under my nails now it looks really gross though but yeah so that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll definitely keep you updated on the fading process and my final thoughts as this kind of like fades out. And I like, yeah, I don't know what I was going to say, but we'll just see how I feel and I'll let you guys know. But um, hopefully this video was helpful. Let me know if you guys have ever tried Overtone and what your thoughts and experience has been. Because I am curious if you guys already know like how it fades. But I mean, I know everyone's hair is different, but anyways. So yeah, also um, I have a new Instagram page that's fully dedicated to my wavy hair. So if you're interested in more updates kind of throughout the week in between videos on my hair and products I'm loving, etc., definitely go follow that page. It's Mel's.waves and I'll have it linked down below. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.